all right youtube in this video we are going to see how to fetch all data from the database in code igniter framework you'll get the source code in the description along with the steps to be followed in this course fine let me show you what our project is so this is a simple project you can see these data is getting fetched from the database and let me show you the database and uh, this is the database customer and it has a table called user and you can see there are four columns so these are the four columns which I have retrieved from the code igniter framework and these are the steps which we are going to follow these are divided into modules don't for, don't uh, don't worry you'll get the steps in the description box along with the source code fine now the very first step what we are going to do is we are going to choose a database let's choose a database which is already filled for that you have to get into the localhost slash php my admin if you enter if you enter into it choose a database let's choose the customer database and uh, let's get into the table called user we have already four column filled so we'll use this database along with the table fine now we are going to create the code igniter framework from the official website over there we will get three versions we will choose the code igniter 3 because it is the current version click on the download and place the folder in the HG docs which is inside the XAM folder fine I have already downloaded it and let me extract it once you extract it you will get a folder and this folder acts as your project before using before using the project uh, before using the folder make sure to give the name this name is your code igniter project name fine let's give the name as fetch from database to open this what you have to do is since we are already in XAMPP make sure your XAMPP is running type localhost then slash your project name which you have done now it says welcome to code igniter we have run we have done this now it's time to open the code igniter folder into your favorite editor minus sublime let me open it open the project open folder select the folder now here it's fetch from database click on select and it will open into a new tab uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to modify the config folder you can find it in the application section inside the application folder you will get the config folder these are the three files the first is auto load file when the code igniter loads we want the library database to load automatically along with the URL we will be using site URL and base URL in this tutorial that's the reason why we have added user URL so for the base URL let's give the name along let's give the name and now it's time to modify the database details let the username be root it's the default one for XAMPP and I have added the database name over there we have completed this now it's time to understand the fundamental of the code igniter when you load we are not we are we are going to understand how this code loads how this web page loads this web page loads for this you can see I'm typing on the URL what I have done we have localhost slash fetch from database this fetch from database is simply your folder name what laravel will do is laravel will get into the index.php once it get in the once it get into the index.php it will look for the controller and here the default controller is welcome with w with capital w once once the code igniter finds the controller welcome it is a page called welcome.php and inside the welcome.php we will have a function called index so that is that is where the page is loading from inside the index function which is inside the welcome.php page this index function loads a folder this folder name is view and inside the folder name we will have a file which is welcome underscore php and this is where the welcome to code igniter page shows up let me show you fine now you can see without the index.php it's automatically loading the same default page which is welcome underscore message dot php I'll show you in the folder structure let me copy it in the notepad fine now let me show you 
what coordinator what coordinator will do it get into the config inside the config it will get into the routes in the routes you will get to know the default controller the default controller here is welcome so inside controller folder you will find welcome.php and inside welcome controller you will find a function called index and this index loads the view folder inside the web inside the view you will get the page called welcome underscore message dot php if you change code igniter to our channel name you will find once you refresh it it will load the default page now we got to know where the index page is loading from let's paste the table data uh, bootstrap table so we need we are going to fetch all the data from the table and display it on a bootstrap table so let's copy it from the w3 school which is ready-made code as we know I have shown you we have four columns for uh, let's make it four columns so the column is ID first column is ID the second column is name third column is email and the fourth column is comments uh, it's not comment it is created at it is simply the time fine now let's give the heading as fetch data from database using code igniter in the next tutorial we will use the same project in the next tutorial you will we will use the same code or the same process and we will implement it into a code igniter project so it will be a live project you will find it in the playlist right after this fine now if you refresh it instead of welcome page the welcome page is already loading but we have mod we have replaced the code with our table bootstrap table now we are going to create a model inside the model folder let's name it as model.php this is the page where we will so we are going to give the name as the page name which is user underscore model which will be extending model ci underscore model so this is the page where your uh, insert code is going to be written so we have a predefined function called insert in the class db we will write it in the model so whenever you insert data what will happen is the controller comes here and controller will run a function and that function is going to insert it so this is not the now right now we are not going to look at the insert case we are going to look at the view case so there we will have a function called get which will be in the class database fine let me show you how it's done so in the auto load file we have already loaded db database class isn't it so we will use dollar this and call the db class inside the db class we will have a function called get and you have to pass the table name here our table name is user and we want the value to be as a array so for that call the function called result underscore array once we call this function all what we want is we want to return a array let's give the name as users so we are going to use the model in the controller default controller welcome dot php fine now load model in controller to use this function we have to load the model in the function let's load it as dollar this and uh, there's a class called load and inside the la class load we have a function called model and we have to pass our model name which is user underscore model dot php we the dot php is optional and now we are going to call the all function which is inside the model user underscore model dot php and as we know it is returning an array called users let's store it into a variable called users now we need to pass this array to the page so how we are going to do it 
I just modified the name. The next step is save all uh, save retrieved all array values in array. We are going to define an array. Now we are going to define an array, and this variable dollar u will be stored inside the array. So let's name it as data. Let's initial let make let's make it as array. So this data will be an associative array with named index called customer, and uh, this will hold all the database value, which is dollar u in this case, and we will pass the data. as a second argument to the view function so we can use this data over here so we will be first checking whether the value customer is working or not we will be using the named index let's check whether the variable is empty or not if it's empty it will show empty we know it is not empty because we have filled dollar u and this dollar u will fetch all values from the model it says we have missed a semicolon if you refresh it it says nothing because so it is not empty let's make it not empty add the exclamatory above below uh, before empty and let's say it's not empty we know it's not empty because it is fetching data from model fine now we got our variable filled now we will use the for each loop to display all the values let's forward it and uh, this dollar c will have the column name the first one is id the second one is name email and created that fine now if you load the data is fetched from the database don't worry you get the source code in the description thank you so much for listening